Well, one week after we interviewed both the city council president and the Cranston city councilor who resigned, the city attorney says state police will be looking into exactly happened leading up to it. Former councilwoman Anise Germain now says she was given an ultimatum to step down or be humiliated. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the letter the city sent to police about the concerns. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is back on the story in Cranston with the details. Sheena. Well, during our conversation last week, on multiple occasions, Ger Germain said it's the, quote, power dynamics within Cranston politics that led to her stepping down. Word of that got around, bringing up a lot of concerns. This is a copy of the letter sent to Rhode Island State Police asking for an independent investigation into the resignation of a Cranston City Council member, Anise Germain. Yes, on February. 12 News last, interviewed her last, last Monday following the news of her stepping down. Germain blamed political anyone. dynamics and maneuvering for the move, as well as challenges with a quote, filing error with her nonprofit, Hope and Change for Haiti. Make a choice to protect my family made a choice to, to be real with myself. That's why I am stepping down. IRS records show the nonprofit's 501c3 status was revoked in 2022, a concern for Council President Jessica Marino. In her own words, Marino said in order to save her from a public fall from grace, she was trying to give Jermaine the option to explain, then resign. And if she was going to choose not to resign, then I was going to have a public hearing with council, convene and have, um, we do have investigatory powers, and that's what we would have to do. We would have to conduct a public hearing to vet out um, this current situation. The following led to criticism of the Democratic City Council leader, including by the Cranston Republican City Committee Chairman. Cranston City Solicitor Chris Millay says in order to make sure no laws were violated, he's calling on an independent investigation. Millay tells Target 12 state police have indicated the case will be assigned to detectives. And today we did reach out to both Marino and Jermaine, but did not hear back in time for this story to include their comments. Now, Rhode Island State Police would not confirm or deny an investigation, saying they would not comment on the existence of one anyways. Reporting live in Cranston tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.